Hey guys, before I'm going to dive into today's tutorial, I quickly want to highlight Emma Sleep Summer Deals. While the summer in the Netherlands is a bit of a mess this year, I don't know if you can hear the rain in the background, but Emma Sleep has still amazing summer deals and it doesn't have to take away the good vibes and being at your best and having a good night's sleep. So literally yesterday I was so cold and my husband, he wanted to take an ice bath because he was so warm and we still both managed to have an amazing good night's sleep because we have the premium hybrid mattress, which is temperature regulating. And obviously I still sleep with my Emma Hug, which is a gravity blanket. I'm obsessed with it. It's going to change your life. So they have an amazing sale going on 50% off and an additional 10% with my code Dylan Sawa. happy shopping all right let's dive in today's tutorial I'm going to be exposing myself because we're so up close like you're going to see my mustache you're going to see some flaws pores hairs or <laughs> whatever um, but I actually filmed this for Instagram and I thought you guys always ask me for a very close-up makeup tutorial like every time I feel like I film a close-up tutorial like no that's not even close, like closer. So I thought, you know what, maybe it's a good idea to really zoom in and show you guys what I do. And I also haven't done my makeup in such a long time. I just wanted I just wanted to look nice and feel snatched, if you know what I mean. Like I've been in my house too long. You guys know that feeling. Um, so anyways, I'm using the contour ones from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I love these so much. They're so affordable, so smooth, so blendable. And I actually liked the uh, darker shade a little bit more because it had like a gray tint to it. Um, and before this tutorial, I think I was watching the video with uh, Scott Barnes and Tati. So I was a little bit inspired to do like a heavy underpainting. But I'm not sure if it turned out a little bit too heavy maybe because I was like doing the... I don't know what was the makeup artist of... Hailey Bieber and Kendall Jenner, she does some underpainting, I forgot her name, but that looked a little bit more natural, but I was not mad at it. I mean, it looked good, but maybe not like for every day. So um, I'm just kind of, kind of like blending everything, and I don't know if you guys can still see, I'm so annoyed by the older permanent makeup under my eyebrow, but I'm also scared to kind of like remove it with laser. So if you have like any experience in that, like please let me know. I'm using my Iconic 3s, like this is the most flawless base that you can ever have. So I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Probably need to have the sheer one, but I love how I can kind of like dose the high coverage. Um, and then I use the Fluid Sheer from Armani. It's the bronzy one. I believe it's number two, if I'm not wrong. And then the um, Glass Skin from Natasha Denona. Like I've never seen a product like that in my life. It's the best of the best. I've used the pink. This is going so fast. I've used the pink corrector from Huda Beauty. Loving it. And then I've used the good old MAC... Um, pro long wear concealer if i'm not mistaken and as you can see i kind of like blended the concealer but not like completely i just wanted to let it marinate a little bit and this nars blush it had me in a chokehold because it is so beautiful like this shade i'm obsessed with it and i used to use a lot of like light pink shade peachy shades but i believe like mauvey tones almost like red purple tones uh blushes they suit me so much better um, for my eyes, I'm using this MAC Neutral Palette. It's an amazing palette. Uh, and I'm just going in with a very light eyeshadow. Just kind of like latte makeup that you see right now. We gave it a name now, but I feel like it's like we've been doing it for so long, but I'm loving it. Um, so I just take a little bit of a darker shade. You guys know, like, I have so much eyelid space. So I just need to fill that space, like, that area up. Um, and I'm using a little bit of a darker shade on the outer corner, but I'm kind of like really diffusing it because I want it to look a little bit more natural j-lo vibes you know what i mean um after that i am i took like a really nice shimmery shade and i loved the shimmer in this i haven't used a shimmer in a long time that i really liked and this had the perfect amount of shimmers in it it looked a little glossy i don't know i just really loved the shimmer it was not too warm it was not too cold you hear me saying that saying that all the time because i get the ache when something's like too warm or too gray um i am tight lining i believe this is a kiko eyeliner uh, in number three, just a beautiful brown color, a diffused under eye. If I see someone with like a beautiful diffused under eye area, I really tend to like stare at that person because I just love it so much. It just gives a whole nother, I don't know, like vibe to the makeup look. Um, so I am blending the rest of the concealer and then I am powdering. This is the Maybelline powder that I've used. I believe this is in the shade Ivory. I love this a lot, but I feel like it was a little bit too light maybe for this look. Um, so I went in with a little bit of the foundation from powder foundation from one size um 
oh my god this is going so fast sigma corderosa blush a little bit more extra on the top i have no idea which lip liner this is because i love it so much so i need to go to the office and find out find out what lip liner this is i'm diffusing it a little bit with this eyeshadow brush honestly not the perfect brush for this but it will work um i've used a nude lipstick it has been a while since i've used a lipstick like this this is the dose of colors um in collab with I, th I feel like a makeup artist that I cannot pronounce her name. And this is a gloss that I put on top, kind of like similar to the lipstick. I am, look at the difference in my like eyelashes. I have pretty straight lashes. I didn't even know that. Um, this is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I love this. And this is basically the look. So very natural looking <laughs> because we've used a lot. And, but very me. I love it so much. Neutral tones and just looking glowy and gorgeous and i finally felt like myself again thank you guys so much for watching you can follow me on instagram and tiktok as well and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next one bye